YouTube, we're back to my channel. I'm Shauna if you're new here. Today is Sunday, February... Oh my gosh, I never know what day it is unless it's been like a major holiday that I can remember and that's my last checkpoint. So it is after Valentine's Day. Okay, seven plus 14 is 21. Okay, it might be February 21, 21st, 21. Tyler went ice fishing today with his friends. This is my first day alone in the apartment. I'm drinking my dandy blend with the frost oat milk on top. It is such a good combo and I feel like I haven't really started my day unless I've had this. These are some of the clear mugs that Tyler's parents gave us. They are so cute. Tyler's older sister, Lexi, came over from San Francisco and she flew back home to visit her parents um, in the Boston area and then she came up with us. She slept on our infamous air mattress. <laughs> Hope that was okay for her. We basically just hung out here, walked around Portland a bit, got good food. We got Honey Paw, Terralingua, and LB Kitchen. That was really good. We got LB Kitchen with Tyler's parents as well because they came up yesterday to come pick up Lexi and bring her back to Boston. We had a nice couple hours with them. Lexi and I made some art and Tyler. This is one of Lexi's artworks. This is also Lexi and Lexi. We also added a bit of like a collage element. I had this really cool catalog for seeds. It's called the Fedco catalog, if anyone is into that kind of stuff and knows. And we just ripped out a bunch of chunks from it, pieces of it, and glued them on. And I feel like it added a cool element and it also references Maine. And then we had some washi tape, so we played around with that. Here is Tyler's artwork. <laughs> Here are some of mine. Here's a second one. Here is a third one. Oops. Then the fourth one. Maybe it's time for our big update. We got a big furniture delivery. Our couch arrived. Yay. I am obsessed. And also our little coffee table cubes. I love them. I'm so happy with the way they turned out. This couch is from Six Penny Home. I almost got the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch. I was so into it and I had been looking at it since the summer, since seeing everyone else get it. This was a really good alternative for me because it kind of has that cloud couch vibe, but is definitely different. What I love is this little detail. So all of the edges have this kind of like extra fabric. I don't know what to call that, but it makes it look a lot more laid back and very beachy this is like huge like this is the size of my hand and like this whole thing is the width of the couch so the whole thing i want to say was a little bit over 10 feet i think so we were able to fit five people and a small dog on this like pretty comfortably last night we had tyler's parents and his sister and me and tyler and the dog it's a slip covered couch meaning all the covers can come off like including the covers on the bottom there, not just the cushion covers. The fill is down feather wrapped core, foam core. It has this really cushiony feel. You sink in, but it's also kind of firm. Like you don't sink in completely, but it's like a very comfortable, supportive feel. This piece, this ottoman, you can move it anywhere. Um, I don't think it's even attached to that piece. I couldn't really find the alligator clip. I don't think it exists. But you can basically move it anywhere. Like you can go on the right side where it is right now, to the left side, to the middle. I just love Six Penny. It is so cute. I discovered the brand through Janae Daly. If you don't know her, she's another YouTuber and she's amazing. Like I love her content. They sell a select few styles, but they're just so, perfectly curated. They come in like different cottons and linens and even some velvets and some leather couches as well. And they also sell tables and chairs and they're beautiful, they're so pretty. They only have a few colors of different styles ready to ship, meaning when it's ready to ship, it will take about three weeks to get to you. At least for me, since it, this couch came from California, I'm here on the East Coast. And then all the other colors I saw are made to order and they require a 14 to 16 week production time. So that's a lot <laughs> to wait four months. So I just picked whatever color was in stock and this gray medium weight linen cotton was in stock and 
like I think it's gorgeous. I thought about getting a white couch, but the whole apartment is white, especially if you are dating like this mountain fishing man. When he comes into the house, there is like a new hiking trail through the house because of the dirt that gets tracked in here. Not his fault, we love Tyler. Oh, and these tables are from Lulu and Georgia, a really cute company as well. I will link everything I'm talking about below. And this is teakwood and it's actually hollow in the middle so you can carry them around and move them around. took my daily dose of this. I really do feel like it's giving me the minerals I need to feel more energized long term. I also ordered this crystal thing from Amazon and it was only $10 for two of these and I have this string to hang it from a window so that it creates these little rainbows all over the room. Kind of like this as you can see. Super pretty. I'll link it in the description as well. From the sunlit seas, these creatures creep in fast for their fill. To hold me underwater till I'm still. I am so cozy right now. This feels amazing. I am covered in this super cozy fuzzy blanket that Tyler's parents gave us or I don't even know if they gave it to us because Tyler just brought it. <laughs> they said it was actually a wedding gift that they got. I have my notebook here, it matches the blanket and I got my book that I'm reading right now, Quantum Warrior by John Cahoe. I got my spa meditative birthing music on. <laughs> Got my hydration available to me. Got a candle lit over there. As the pavements underfoot, as the pavements underfoot, whatever stays where it is put. I might always try again. Now I am a little bit hungry and I want to make some food before I get too hungry and start getting hangry and eat a bunch of unhealthy stuff. For lunch, I wanna make like a little salad bowl with this rice pilaf. I actually made the same thing I'm about to make for dinner last night. So I have this, it's the rice pilaf and it is so good. It is, it's just this, like you can get it at pretty much any grocery store. I just pulled out like a bunch of veggies, got my cucumber, got this big stack of greens. I love, grocery shopping and just picking all the things that I want. So we have some microgreens. We always need to have arugula around the house. And I got some red oak leaf. I'm gonna show you how I do my favorite salad dressing ever. The thing is the actual ingredients of the dressing can vary, like as long as you just have a vinegar and an oil, an olive oil preferably, or honestly anything, I don't really know. But the key is the garlic mash paste. So I'm gonna just show you how to do that and then the rest you can honestly play with the formula. I am just pressing down on this garlic because it helps to get the peel off. I will compost the peel and any other vegetable scraps that aren't don't get used. This is probably a good size. Okay, so this tool is the key. So this is a Japanese mortar and pestle. I actually still don't know what part is the mortar and what part is the pestle, but this bowl part with the grooves, that is the most important thing. You need some salt to act as something, oh shoot, I forgot the word. Basically the salt grinds the garlic as well. So I have a bit of salt in there and my garlic clove and I'm just gonna mash it in. Just going in here, and I'm kind of just pressing the garlic into the grooves. And it is so quick with this specific mortar and pestle. This is what it looks like. You kind of just want the garlic to disappear. That's when you know that it's done. So now it's like totally almost gone, just like in the grooves. And now the trick here is to add your acidic ingredient, whether that's like lemon juice, vinegar, in at this stage and letting it sit on top of your garlic paste for five to 10 minutes because that reduces 
like the spiciness and the like really pungent garlicky flavor. You just get this really nice, subtle, but like still strong garlic taste in your dressing, but it's not like you're eating like straight raw garlic. Right now I only have this passion fruit vinegar. It's really good. Um, it's really intense on its own, but when you tone it down with the olive oil, it's a really good balance. Normally I would do like red wine vinaigrette or red wine vinegar, that's a good kitchen staple, but um, we just moved so we don't have all of our pantry staples yet, totally. While that's sitting, I'm gonna prepare all the other ingredients. I like having just like a big bowl out and then, and then I start building my salad. this super cute little salad dressing bottle. So I am going to probably make a bigger batch of the dressing and fill it in here. And then this has like an easy pour spout thing. So yeah, super cute. Um, this is from OXO and I got most of my kitchen tools from OXO because they're just amazing and reliable. And yeah, they're great. regularly are spirulina so I have one serving here my mom swears by spirulina and is always buying me spirulina and trying to like sneak it into my bags whenever I go somewhere so I just have a bit of lemon in here and a bit of hot water I'm also still loving my solar power energy by wooden spoon herbs this just feels like a treat to me like I'm really treating my body well and giving it something that provides more long-term energy. So yeah, I'm, I'm still enjoying that very much. My sheets are all cleaned and fresh and crisp. I'm so excited to get into bed later. I'm so obsessed with these sheets. They are so cozy and soft and I love just I love how natural they look. I love the linen. This is the coziest bed I've ever had in my life. I also love how there is a tree right there in front of the window. It feels like there's more privacy, but also some green, which is nice. And then all the trees here. I bet it looks amazing in the springtime and in summer and fall. This light is just so pretty. I almost forgot to mention that our dresser arrived. I picked this up from Craigslist. Don't mind my pajamas right now. So this is vintage. It is from the 60s and it is this black lacquer. It is all solid wood. I wanted to go with something a bit more unique. I was also tempted to get like a restoration hardware classic thing, but I'm glad I pushed myself to try to step outside of my comfort zone and get something different. Oh, the light in here is just so nice. Like, look at that. The way it just sits on the linen. So perfect.
to go walk. I think we might go pick up Vietnamese food. So Tyler's on his way back from ice fishing and we'll call in and I'll go walk and get it because I haven't left the house today and I think I need to go on a little walk. I uh, just showered. We had dinner. We picked up pho. I picked up pho. It was very heavy because we ordered four noodle soups and I carried it all the way back to the apartment. And so we had that and Tyler's friend came over and we ate it. I feel super clean and fresh and I have my big cup of water here and I'm just gonna stay hydrated. We are going to watch maybe an episode or two of our Netflix show and then we'll probably just go to bed after that. Thanks for joining me on my day in Portland, Maine and I will talk to you next time. Bye!